What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode with your boy Frank Lean. Right, uh, this is your first time. Thank you for stopping by. If you're a returning subscriber, viewer, supporter of my channel, thank you for the constant love. Thank you for watching my content. If you're new to this channel, my name is Franklin. I'm the brain behind this platform and I try to put out contents on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, apart from the past couple of weeks, which has been just on Mondays and Fridays, okay? If you like what I'm about, give us the like button, smash the subscribe button. Right. So, this content is actually aimed at diasporans, okay? But if you live in Nigeria, you can also benefit from this. Now, I've had uh, several people in the past, because I made, I made a video in the past talking about, uh, yeah, I think about seven profitable businesses in Nigeria. Of course, that list, you know, is not exa um, exhaustive. It, there, are, there are tons and tons of, you know, businesses that you can potentially or definitely go into and be successful. But in response to that particular video, I had so many people send me emails and asking questions about they would love to incorporate, you know, um, a business name, get a business, you know, company registered and stuff. How did, how can they get it done and stuff? Because they, they live abroad. It's a bit tedious. Right. So I've brought you hopefully what I regard as a, a helpful information because I've been through the process myself. Now, the, uh, there's a department called the Corporate Affairs Commission, you know, otherwise known as CAC, okay? They deal with company, you know, registrations and name reservation, company registration and stuff like that. They're the dedicated, you know, government department that deals with that. Now, back in the days, to be quite frank, uh, the process was known to be a bit tedious, a bit challenging. In fact, you couldn't incorporate a company uh, a few years ago if you, if you don't engage, you know, you, you have to actually engage a lawyer, pay a lawyer to get your company registered and stuff. And, and which I don't have anything against lawyers because, you know, they're professionals in their field and stuff. But sometimes I think at that time you make the fees a bit higher and then maybe it could be a bit complex even with the CSE people themselves. But right now everything is in fact done online so that's what's interesting okay because i myself have been um, working on um, you know considering the idea of incorporating uh registering a business name and stuff in nigeria you must have heard i've seen one of my videos freeman travel consultants good um i'm the brain behind freeman travel consultants so i've just officially um, um registered uh the company you know, I've just, because I've been longing to do it properly and stuff. So I've just registered the company. So going through CAC, okay? Actually, I went to CAC's um, office. So yeah, um, I'm trying to get a business registered. Um, Freeman Travel Consultants. You might have seen that on my, um, my YouTube channel, okay? So that's my travel agency. Um, business I'm taking you through uh, taking you through a journey on how um, I'm gonna go through the corporate uh, affairs commission known as CAC get it registered open a business account and stuff like that do it properly okay right catch you soon so I went I went there hoping that I, I would walk in and just speak to one of the officials and say hey man I'd like to um, have a, a brand new company, you know, registered. Can I, can you get, you know, what do I need to do and stuff? And then when I spoke to a gentleman at the desk, he was very helpful, surprisingly, given the way things are very challenging in Nigeria and, or sometimes unnecessarily challenging. And then uh, the guy just said, oh, sir. So he gave me this, uh, you know, piece of paper. I don't know if you can see it. It's a photocopy, a bit faint. Anyway, it's, it tells you online registration guideline, pretty much. It said to me that I couldn't come in there to do it in person is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, I then proceeded to, you know, jump in the vehicle and left the premises. So what I did was I went straight, got behind the computer and I created an account on the, you know, the CSE's website, which is www.cse.gov dot ng right that's their website so you go there you click on online registration and you create your account right so got the um csc website here and um i'm gonna come in here because i've already registered 
So uh, I'm going to click on online registration. And usually for someone who hasn't registered, you can do a quick, you know, public search, um, which is, um, how do you, how do you do that? Yeah, search now, you click on this, you can do a quick, you click on that, and another page pops up. So if you want to, you know, register your business name, it's advisable that you click on that tab, you know, once you click on the log, that login tab brings you here, do that quick you know search I don't know why this is taking a while to load right so for whatever business name that you you know you want to um, search for you type it in here you click on I'm not a you know robot that's a captcha thing and then you click on search so if your name has already been taken it lets you know now back in the days they used to charge um, X amount of money for it to, to do it internally. So now you can sit behind your computer and just check if your name has already been taken or there's a similar combination, you can come up with another name. So once you get all clear, I would say, you know, the step two is to reserve, you know, your name. But before you can do that, you need to register yourself an account on this website. So to reserve the name, but I've already, you know, done that. You just click on the login and log into my account. But, you know, for data protection reasons, I don't want to, you know, show my own uh, personal details. So you reserve your name. To reserve the name, um, it's about 500 Naira. You can pay that online with your card. Dead easy. There was a company called, I think, Remita that takes the payment on behalf of CAC, right? So once you reserve the name and stuff, you get the name, the name approval and stuff. And the next thing is actually... Let me try to log in, but um, uh, I'm not going to go too, you know, too deep into my, uh, so as you can see, I've got one company registered. I don't want to click on it because of personal details and I've, I've got the name, you know, the name reservation. So once you get the name reserved that gets approved and then the next thing is for you usually once you to do the name reservation you come on here there's a tab here and there's a bit that says new name reservation once you put the name in and stuff you, you put a payment you know uh details and then you pay once that that's done then you come to you know new company re registration and you repeat the process that you get to fill the form and stuff okay so let me carry on explaining but there is a company called is it called remita there's like a third party company that processes you know payments for for them so they put a little bit of commission of about 100 and something naira so everything comes to about 600 naira plus for the name you know reservation so once you pay that fairly straightforward they will send you instantly send you a pdf receipt proof of payment to um what do you call your email address the one you use to set up the account so now once you've done that um you should get like an approval within a day within a few hours actually if you do it very early in the morning before the end of the day you should get an approval from cac or maybe at latest the following morning right so it's, it's, it's pretty 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 reliable and i'm actually surprised with the way things used to get delayed in nigerian stuff so anyway you do that so once you've done that they approve when you log into your account online there will be an approval sort of like a name approval um paperwork that you can actually print off right that would say your name has been approved so the next step is for you to then progress to you know registering uh what do you call it now your new company so you go into the dashboard once you log in click on new registering the new company so there you're going to put uh, you're going to have a detailed form, your name, if you're the sole proprietor of the business. In my own case, now, now I must clarify, I must clarify, in my own case, because I'm using my case as a case study, I'm the sole proprietor, right? So there, I haven't got any details of any uh, shareholders or any shares or anything at the moment. That might come up in the near future, right? But I haven't got nothing in that wise. Just incorporating the business name and stuff, dead easy and straightforward. So... Pretty much, it makes my process really straight, straightforward. Now, if you're incorporating the business and it's going to be you and there's another partner making two proprietors of the business or maybe even more, and also if you're going to have a minor, maybe you want to add your children, you know, and stuff, then you'll be needing, a, you know, uh, 
documented in attestations or something signed by a magistrate or lawyer and things like there are additional paperwork for like if you want to add the names of you know young children and if you have other business partners they would have to also complete the forms and so so there's there was a bit more paperwork is what i'm saying so if it gets complex whereby you want to involve details of shares and all that it's advisable that you speak to a lawyer because what i'm saying that's slightly complex it's it, something you might not be able to get right yourself okay but carrying on with my own experience so i did that and then once to pay for the, actually, at the time of filming this, let me read something to you very quickly. They have um, uh, extension of the public notice. It's on their website. Let me read this to you because somebody might benefit from this. Extension of the 50% reduction in cost of registration fee for business names window by 90 days. So at the moment, there is a 50% reduction in the cost of you know uh, registration fee. So it said, following the directive of the Vice President uh, Yemi, uh, uh, His Excellency Professor Yemi Osimbajo San GCUN, the Corporate Affairs Commission wishes to inform the general public that the 50% reduction in registration fee for business names you know window has been further extended for 90 days, effective from 13th of May 2019 to the 13th of August. 2019 so between 13th of may and 13th of august 2019 should you what anyone watching this should you decide to incorporate a business you'll be paying 50 percent of the actual price so in my case when i was going to pay my fees for to register my business it would, it would normally so, so for example let me let me read this the extension is to assist micro small and business medium enterprises to formalize their businesses which will enable them own corporate account with banks have access to loans grants and other government in interventions members of the public are enjoined to take advantage of this extension to register their business names at the reduced cost of five thousand naira. so that's exactly what i'm saying um further details visit our website www.cac.gov.ng or call there are some phone numbers um i'll put details in the description below so you can so so this is running, like I said, from the 13th of May to the 13th of August, right? So I paid 5,000 Naira only. But they, you know the third party company, the Remita, that takes the payment, they added you know, about 100 or 200 Naira on top, which is, I'm sure, their own commission for processing the payments for, for CSC. So yeah, so that's dead cheap. So bear in mind, and also, that is what I'm saying to you, that this is my own case. So if you're going to register a business and maybe it's you and your wife or you and your um, um, uh, the other business partner, you want to add your children and stuff, the fees are going to go up a bit more, okay? So if you're going to add a few few more information, there might, there'll be some additional fees. But the beautiful thing is there's a 50% you know, going on at the moment. So if you can take advantage of that before the 13th of, uh, you know, on or by the 13th of you know August 2019 so that's that so after I did that there are documents that you need to then go back to the portal you log back online you need to upload online in PDF versions okay first of all is you know the name approval there's a document that you can download from that side where you see the name approval there's a document that they would generate for you that you you need that document to upload into that portal you need um, Proof of ID, a government issued ID. In my own case, I use my passport. Okay, I scan the data page of my passport. Um, that, then, proof of um, what do you call it, Nicole? Now, um, the payment um, for the uh, business uh, re registration, which is the proof of the five thousand naira. That, and then, then you see the form that you fill online. Please pay attention to this. There was a form that you fill online when you are putting in details to register for the business as a, as, a, as a proprietor and all that stuff, even if it's a limited company. You see that form, you are required to affix um, a passport photograph, okay? So whatever you do, you print off that form because you would have populated it on their website. So it gets to a final page where it allows you to just print. So you print that form, you attach your passport photograph if it's just yourself if it's other people are going to be proprietors or part of the business they would just do the same thing right you have fixed that you sign at the bottom and date right then you scan those forms as pdf you upload them okay to that site that's it so in my own case that form 
And then days later, which is actually yesterday, which was the 6th of June, and I got a confirmation saying my company has been approved, has been registered, has been fully incorporated. So, but the only thing is, you see those forms that you print out, those forms that you've signed, attached, and then scanned back to them and stuff, make sure that you keep them. It's very important because in order for you to go to your designated, ha, one more thing, one more thing. Um, in order for you to go and pick up your, how do I say now, your um, incorporation certificate for your, your business, right? You would have to, there would be a drop down list when you're registering. They'll ask you which of the cities do you want to go and pick your document from. So, for example, if you want to pick it up in Lagos, they have offices across Nigeria. If you want to pick it up in Lagos, if you want to pick it up in Ogun State, if you want to pick it up in... Uh, in the law, if you want to pick it up in Abuja, you just specify. So that automatically gets populated in that form. So when you print it off and stuff, they will send you an email to say, congratulations, you know, your company has been approved, da, 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 da. And then you see those things that you printed off and you attach every document, copies of the documents you've uploaded, proof of payment and stuff, make sure you keep them safely. So when you decide to go to that local office, you have to show them those documents as proof that you're genuinely the one that incorporated that company, if that makes sense. Then they will hand you your certificate of um, registration. So dead easy. And if you decide to make any changes to your business details or any part of your baby shareholders and stuff, they've got separate forms and nominal fees that you can pay to them to get it done. So it's dead easy, all right? If you wanna go my, my own pathway, I incorporated the business. As a sole proprietor, there is no complexity. I've got no details of any shares or anything at the moment. It's only a brand new company. So the idea of Freeman Travel Consultants is to uh, provide um, travel visa services and stuff and honest travel uh, consultations for people who are willing to travel, maybe on vacation, you want to go study abroad and stuff like that. So if you've seen the name Freeman Travel Consultants, it's owned by Franklin, okay? So feel free to bombard me and stuff if you want to process, uh, you want to go for a Canadian permanent residency, uh, student visa and stuff. But from my videos, if you've not seen any of my videos, you can already tell the, <clears throat> the sort of person I am. The premise of my business is we come with a degree of um, honesty. And this is not about bish bash bosh to take money and tell you any odd nonsense. This is to provide a reliable service, honest service for my people. So for example, you come to me, you tell me you wanna process um, um, a student visa to go to Canada, right? There's consultation, there's a honest consultation to tell you, to ask you questions, to educate you. Oh, you wanna go study in Poland, a university in Poland. The question is, why do you wanna to go to Poland? and on and on like that. And if there are things you need to know, I will let you know, okay? Uh, somebody said, if I go to uh, the US with a visitor's visa, within two years, I'll get permanent residency. Bull crap, big lies. It's my job to tell you. This is why I'm putting out content, okay? So anyway, that's that. It's dead easy, it's self-explanatory. You should go to the website, check it out, and then hopefully you um, be able, if you've got any questions, put the questions below. And one of the beautiful things is, if you've got an idea, you know, you've got a beautiful name, you want to incorporate a business, act now, act fast, okay? Those ideas, you're living abroad, you want to go do something back home, just do it now. Do it. You might be the next big thing. It's your boy, Franklin. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. If you've got any questions, let's keep the conversation going on below. Push me an email. And if you need any clarifications, I will do my very best to reply you to point you in the right direction. If I haven't got the information, I'll let you know, okay? But I'll do my very best, all right? Thank you. And um, yeah, I think I've managed to effectively deliver on my self-imposed obligation. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love. Bye now.